Hi, my name is Christian and I work for Building Beats. We are a music education nonprofit that teaches music production as well as DJing to kids in after school programs, community centers, and homeless shelters across New York City. And today I'm going to show you guys two ways to implement video game samples into your beats on Soundtrap. And so when I'm talking about uh, video game samples, I'm going to be looking at basically two categories. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, one shot samples or sound effects that you would hear in classic video games. And I'm also going to be looking at MIDI files and importing video game MIDI files onto Soundtrap and kind of remixing them. And so when I think of like where to find video game samples and stuff, uh, one site that I go to that's just a really great resource is called the Sounds Resource. Of course, it's a very uh, energetic and fairly uh, active community of people that kind of put these um, video games together and arrange the sounds based off certain video game characters or stages like in a fighting game or just all around sound effects that you would hear throughout a video game. And so uh, we could take a look at the list here on the side. They have mobile games, Sega Genesis, you know, arcade, classic, to basically brand new like PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. So if I click here on the Nintendo Switch, they'll have a list of games here. And as you can see, Super Smash Brothers is one of the first ones to just pop up. And what's great about Super Smash Brothers is that they break it down to all these different sounds per character. So if I was just looking for sounds of one, you know, specific mascot, I can kind of just click through them. Or if I want to look at certain bosses or enemies, certain stage sounds that you hear in the background, uh, certain uh, announcer sounds, they got it based off different languages, the crowds that you hear in the background in the video game, just really, really in-depth uh, stuff, honestly. And so here I'm going to just kind of look for a character that I think everybody pretty much knows, and that's Mario. And in here, it's going to be in a zipped file. And so once we click on it, you'll see that it kind of downloads down here. And if you just click on it again, it will unzip the package and you get to see all the sounds in the folder. So as you see here, I have sound effects for Mario, and I also have his voice as well, which is kind of really cool. So we can kind of take a look at those. You can see how it's broken down. A lot of different stuff that we could kind of just take a look at. And so if you want to import those sounds onto Soundtrack, you would just go to where it says Import File. And we can go into our Downloads, click back on Super Smash Brothers, and kind of just look at the Mario stuff here. And let's try, uh, I don't know, we'll try a few sounds. Let's try this attack sound. And obviously you can preview the sounds uh, before we load them out. But uh, when I was doing the previews, they were a little bit too loud. So I'm just going to click these real quick. And let's also look at just regular sound effects. And so we could kind of just play these out one by one. Whoa, <laughs> it sounds like a giant explosion. And then this one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So you kind of hear Mario go give like a yeah. That's kind of cool. So how will we implement those sounds into our beat? Well, we can kind of just use these as, as sound effects. And so let's say I wanted to just start a beat now. Like, uh, let's go into new beats. And we're just going to check out back your trap. And so we could play that out. That's a loop. Yeah. So maybe I want this to fall on the top of every new beat. So just go here, click paste. And do it for each one. And so I kind of 
use that Mario Haya sound, it's kind of like a little impact to the beat. And then obviously you can have more effects and stuff and make it sound a little bit better. But that's one way to do it. If you want to kind of take a video game sample and kind of introduce it in a different way, it's kind of just take those little sound effects and kind of rearrange it and chop it up as you see fit. Another thing you can do is also check out uh, MIDI notation files for classic video game soundtracks. So one site that I like to go to is called midishrine.com. And what's so cool about MIDI Shrine, it's specifically a site uh, geared towards uh, classic video game soundtracks with MIDI files. And so if you go and you click on, let's try like Nintendo. Yeah, <laughs> let's just try Nintendo. And let's choose something from Mario. Why not? So we have Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3. Let's look at the first one. And what download is a zip package because it will contain these 16 MIDI files. And honestly, it's only 27.3 kilobytes, so it's not going to hurt you to just try them all anyway. And we'll just go and extract it. And you see it pops up right there. So I'm just going to go back into Soundtrack. Go back to my import file. And we're going to go and Look at that new Super Mario Brothers folder. And you can see that it has the music for the Super Mario Brothers. They classify it by worlds. They have a little one up sound, the sound it makes when you beat Bowser in the castle. So let's try uh, the castle. And so, as you see here on this MIDI file, it actually has it broken up into a couple of different notations. So we can listen to each of these one by one. Let's see what this is. <laughs> that definitely sounds like the castle. You also have this. Now, I'm not sure if the presets that load with the MIDI are random. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if that works at all. So, you can kind of just delete this one. And for these, we can change the sound. Since it's MIDI notation, we can change the instrument around to whatever we like. So, as a string, maybe like a synth. So let's check out a uh, pad, and we'll try this in drum roll one. See what happens. And so you can kind of just introduce, you know, those two elements together to make something completely different and kind of just taking, you know, the Mario samples that we have from the old Nintendo game and even taking Mario samples from the most recent Nintendo Switch game and kind of just putting a trap beat over it and see what happens. So let's take a listen. That's pretty cool. And that's really it on how to implement video game samples into your soundtrack project by using either sounds straight from the game itself or looking at MIDI notation that you can kind of sample and chop up. And so my name is Christian from Building Beats. Uh, if you want to know more about Building Beats and what we do, you can visit our website at www.buildingbeats.org. You can also catch us on our social media accounts. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, uh, at Building Beats. And hopefully you guys enjoy this lesson on how to implement video game samples into your future soundtrack projects. This is Christian signing off. Peace.